In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix your PC ran into a problem and then it is stuck on automatic repair loop. So every time you try to restart, it just gives you the blue screen, the BIOS OD screen that your PC ran into a problem. And then you come to this screen that says preparing automatic repair. How you can fix this? I will be sharing several methods that you need to apply because any of the solution can work for you. All right. So if you are already on this screen, then you can click on advanced option. But if not, then what you have to do on your PC or laptop, you need to press the power button and hold it until it gets forced shut down. Once it gets shut down, you need to restart the computer again by pressing the power button. Again, when it comes up and as soon as it shows you the Windows logo, you need to again force shut down the computer. You need to repeat this step three times and after that you will be getting such kind of page you have to click on advanced options then here you have to go with troubleshoot then click on advanced options then click on command prompt now the first thing that we will do we will try to disable the automatic repair loop okay so here you have to type a command that you will be getting in the description so just copy and paste here and then you have to hit on enter key and it says the operation completed successfully now next we have to also recover the registry of the windows so for that again you will be getting the command in the description copy and paste here once pasted hit enter again and then you have to type boot rec space forward slash fix mbr hit enter and then you have to type boot sect space forward slash nt six zero space sys hit enter again then you have to type boot rec space forward slash fix boot then type boot rec space forward slash rebuild the next command will be chk dsk space forward slash f then finally you have to type sfc space forward slash scan now now this command will take some time because this will be uh, scanning all kind of integrity violation on your system so just wait until the command has been completed now you can see it says windows resource protection found correct file and successfully repaired them so what we will do next we have to restart the computer again so you can close it again click on continue let's see that if the problem has been fixed and if not then we will move with the next method Okay, so we are again getting this uh, message and seems it doesn't work. So still, if your problem has not been fixed, the so next what we will do, again, we will have to come to the same page. So if it automatically take you to this page, it's fine. Or if not, then you have to follow the same steps of turning off the computer, force shutting down the computer and restarting it again for three times. And then you will be getting such kind of page. Again, you have to click on advanced options here. Then click on troubleshoot. Then click advanced options and now here you get an option of system restore click on it and now if you have created any kind of restore point in the previous days or month then you will be getting the restore point date over here you have to select that option then click on next and after that it will be restoring your computer to the earlier date when your computer was working fine in case this also doesn't work for you again you have to go back click on troubleshoot again so what the next solution remains either i go and reset the pc or i should install the new fresh copy of windows 11 or windows 10 so what you will have to do you will have to create a new a uh, windows 11 usb drive so you can just take the help of any other computer or laptop uh, create a usb drive for windows 10 or windows 11 whichever you are using and after that you have to go with this option use a device and then when you will insert the drive the usb into your, this computer and you will go with this option then you will be getting such kind of page and now it will ask you for the installation all right so this is the last method through which you can fix the problem of bsod in case if the previous step doesn't work for you all right so once you come to this page you have to follow the instructions and click on next and next and install the machine so that's all guys for today hopefully this video will surely help you and if yes then please do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye